Hi, I'm Danielle from Life is a Party, and today I want to teach you exactly how to use transfer tape. It works really well for any of your vinyl projects on your Cricut machine. I've already gone ahead and cut out a piece of vinyl and I'm going to apply it to a glass canister that I picked up at the dollar store. So here's how we use the transfer tape. It comes on a roll. I like the Cricut brand because it has the grid lines, which makes everything easier for lining it up. And I want to cut a piece that's going to be big enough to cover the entire pattern. So now I'm going to apply the transfer tape to the front of my vinyl. And what you wanna do is peel back the paper backing. And you can hang on to that because you can reuse transfer tape. And then try and line it up as straight as I can. And then you can use the scraper tool to burnish it. Burnishing is just going over it. And what you want to do is go over it so that the vinyl will stick to the transfer tape. So let's see how we're going to go here. So then we pull off the carrier piece of the vinyl and you can see the vinyl if we've burnished it enough sticks to the transfer tape for us. And if it doesn't stick, you can just do what I'm doing, which is burnish it a little extra as you go, if you need to. And now the vinyl is on the tape and it's ready to get transferred to our final project. I've got the project surface all prepared. This is a glass canister that I'm using and I'm just resting it on a tissue to keep it from rolling around. And now I'm ready to transfer the vinyl on. So I'm going to try and line it up, connecting it in the middle and then working my way out. And again, you can use the scraper tool to burnish it. It doesn't work so perfectly on a curved surface as it does on a flat one, but you can also just use your fingertips. And then once we have that stuck down, then we can just start to carefully pull up the transfer tape and our vinyl is left on our project just how we want it to be. Now remember you can reuse this um, transfer tape. So if you save the paper backing, you can use it a few more times before it won't be sticky enough to use and then you can throw it away. If you've been wondering how to use transfer tape, I hope that video was really helpful and I wish you the best of luck as you transfer your own vinyl projects made on your Cricut. Don't forget to like our channel and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos in the future.